India is preparing to dramatically overhaul how it measures housing inflation, a technical move with very real consequences for what we call the cost of living. At the heart of this change is the housing component of the Consumer Price Index, which currently carries a weight of 21.67% in urban areas and only about 10.07% at an all-India level. The ministry says that the existing system is outdated. It surveys rents only twice a year and only in urban areas. Under the new proposal, rent data will be collected every month and will expand across both rural and urban India. For the first time, including rural rental trends and even imputed rent for owner-occupied homes. Also, the overhaul proposes excluding employer-provided and government housing, dwellings where rent is based on pay grades or allowances. These are seen as distorting the true housing cost picture. So why does this matter? Because housing is one of the most significant expenses for many households. And yet, the current index may be undermeasuring how fast rents are rising outside major metropolitan cities. Economists say that the methodology needs a relook. So what does the revision actually involve? Well, first expanding sample coverage. Instead of only one-sixth of the selected dwellings being surveyed twice a year, all selected dwellings would be surveyed monthly. Second, including rural areas, which means a lot of rural rent data and imputed rents for owner-occupied homes will be looked into, which means the index can for the first time finally reflect rural housing inflation. And third, removing distortions. By excluding dwellings not rented in the open market, the housing index will better reflect actual rents paid by households. For example, if the new index shows higher rental inflation than previously estimated, the Reserve Bank of India might find it harder to justify cutting interest rates. On the flip side, better data helps differentiate between temporary and structural inflation. And for the government, it means stronger credibility of inflation statistics, especially important as India's economy evolves. The new methodology will be part of the upcoming CPI base year revision expected in early 2026. So what do we have to watch for next? One, whether the new data starts showing higher rental inflation and how quickly policy responds to it. Whether small towns and rural India begin to feature more prominently in inflation narratives. And whether this measure changes how wages, allowances and subsidies are designed, because living costs may look very different under the new index. In short, this is not just a statistical tweak, it's a shift in how India measures what people spend and how it defines cost of living. Hope this video gave you some clarity into this topic. For more such news, stay tuned to Mint.